What's up, YouTube? Barnon 11970 here, and as always, I thank you guys for watching my video. And it's time that I start talking about my different point of views from the average person, because I just sometimes, like I like I always say, there's nothing wrong with questioning things. When you question things, doesn't mean you are right. Doesn't mean what you're talking about is correct or accurate. But you never know, because if you just assume what you're told is the truth, then you will always be a follower, and if you just believe everything that you're told, well, then that doesn't say much about the individual. You have to at least question things, because even if you doubt something, if you could find out information that shows you're wrong about your assumption, well, then that would give you more ground to stand on that the person that you got the information from is honest and truthful. So it's not always about disproving things. Sometimes it's all about confirmation. Now, I want to talk about these two people that are supposedly blamed for the Boston bombing. Now, I just want to say right off the bat that if they are responsible, then they deserve whatever punishment they've gotten. The one that was killed and the one that got shot is in the hospital right now. And if he gets imprisoned for life, then he deserves it. Now, that being said, other than the news telling us that they're the ones, where's the proof? Other than pointing a finger and saying, look, it's those two. Because let me tell you something. I understand people are upset and angry at what happened in Boston. And pretty much anywhere where tragedies happen. I can totally understand that. But do we really just want to just grab any two potential people off the street and just hang them, so to speak, and just be done with it? Is that the kind of society we want? Now, you'll notice that the one that they captured has no Miranda rights given to them. Now, let me ask you something. If that was you being accused of something, and let's just say you didn't do it, because I, like I said, I'm not saying whether they're guilty or not. I don't know. But aren't they allowed to have a fair trial? Isn't there supposed to be evidence presented? Because not for nothing, from what television programming I saw on YouTube when people recorded some of the news channels, who, by the way, were caught like CNN giving inaccurate information, even though they were exclusively reporting it. Um, the only video surveillance of these two people were one walking down the street and two him walking into a 7-Eleven. I didn't know walking into a 7-Eleven was a criminal offense. But notice how they basically shut the town of Watertown in Massachusetts. Well, they basically shut it down to a point where even the news was going into ghost town. Look how easily people comply. And when they caught these two, well, caught the one because they killed the other, people were cheering. Now, like I said, if they are guilty and proven guilty, then I can totally support that. But just imagine if someone had an agenda and wanted to take somebody out, and let's say that person is you. And let's say you haven't done anything, but let's say speak the truth. I mean, after all, look what happens to people that speak the truth. Look at people like um, John F. Kennedy, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Gandhi, John Lennon. You ever notice they tend to be uh, all assassinated? Well, coincidentally killed, according to the media. But let's say they had an agenda against you, and you didn't do anything wrong. And then all of a sudden, you hear on the news, oh, such and such person was found guilty of having bomb equipment in his basement. And they come right after you. And let's say you don't, or let's say you don't know about it. Let's say you own a gun. It's in your house. A legal gun. Not an illegal one. One that you registered, one that's legal. And all of a sudden, the cops do a raid in your house at 5 o'clock in the morning. 
and you're fast asleep and you don't know what's going on, and let's just say your gun happens to be by your bed, if all of a sudden people come rushing in and you're defending yourself because you don't know who the hell it is and you out, you shoot someone, well, can't they just say, oh, there's a real big gun battle going on and they could either just kill you and get it over with because dead men tell no tales or they can capture you and say whatever they want because, you know, according to the media, if they say it, it must be true even if they don't have evidence or even if it's just circumstantial evidence. So I want to make this perfectly clear. I'm not defending those two. I'm defending all of us in the sense that I always thought in the United States of America Corporation that we were all supposed to have fair trials and whatever happened to innocent until proven guilty. Do you guys see the pattern of what's going on here and how easily the sheep will follow anything they're told because there is no evidence if they showed video footage of those two people putting down those backpacks in the exact locations where there was the explosion then I can see that there is proof if they because let me tell you something why would they need to hide them placing the bags in the locations. What's wrong with that? There's no nothing graphic. We're not talking about watching the explosion because, you know, they did that on the news, so they don't have a problem showing people blowing up. So, you know, that whole part, well, I'm just going to, the whole BS of them not wanting to show stuff to protect people, a.k.a. Sandy Hook, is a bunch of bull because look how much graphic images you could find on YouTube and from the media. So they're not really covering it up. So even with that, why can't they show us evidence that shows, oh look, they're planting the bomb. Because not for nothing, there were a lot of people with black pa backpacks, with black backpacks too. So I know as usual, because I have different point of views and I have my own opinions, and I just don't follow like the majority of people do. I know I'm going to get criticized. I know I'm going to get attacked. Because people, that's what they do. But you know what? I'm going to continue to question things because I am a free thinker. And that doesn't mean I'm right. It just means I'm questioning the official story. That just because the media says they did it, does not mean they're right. And I don't mean that they automatically are telling a lie. What if they just wanted to find two people to please the, the citizens of Boston and the people around the world? But look what this opens up, because they're going to say, just like, remember, when they said, oh, we need to get Osama bin Laden, because, you know, he's a mastermind of everything, and once we get him, things will be better. And then after they supposedly killed him the day they said they killed him, they said, well, this is just the beginning because there's going to be more people. So look what they're setting you guys up for. Terrorism, quote unquote, is going to be forever because you can't stop it. And it's, it's a story they can use forever because now they can put the paranoia in the people's hearts by saying things like, oh, well, you know, we caught those two, but who knows who they're affiliated with? And there could be, you know, heads of people all over the place in charge of running other operations and at any moment there could be another quote unquote terrorist attack and I love how quick they are calling people terrorists so I guess there's no such thing as innocent until proven guilty so they're not even giving them their Miranda rights which is supposed to be required by law so what is so wrong with giving a person the chance to defend himself fairly in a court of law because if he's guilty, he should be punished. But if he's not guilty, he should have a right to defend himself just like anyone else. But nowadays, we're taught, well, we're automatically going to call you a terrorist or a bad guy, and we're just going to kill you or throw you in jail, and you have no rights. When does that start to be something that has consequences for the average person, the average citizen? When does it get to that point? Because we could see that even the suspect, like that Saudi Arabian 
person, which Glenn Beck said he'll talk about, and who knows what that's all about, they just deported him, and they searched his house, but he was supposed to be a witness, but they can enter your house, even if you're a witness, isn't that nice? So I'm showing a different point of view, whether you like it or not is irrelevant, because I'm just speaking my opinion, so if you hate it, go watch someone else. But this is for the people that actually don't have a problem with questioning things. Because I'll tell you this, if they give him a fair trial and they find out that he's guilty and the other person that got killed was guilty and they show evidence of this, I will sit there and say, congratulations, you caught the bad guy. I'm glad I confirmed what was the truth. And I am wrong. I have no problem with that. But if people are going to be bloodthirsty and just want to be appeased by grabbing potentially any two people off the street and calling them the guilty parties without proof. I mean, there are people right now all over my Facebook where hundreds of thousands of people are thumbing this up. Basically saying, you know, good, let's hang him and his family and this, that, you know, is this the society? Is this, this is the civil society we are? Really? I'm going to end this video now. And uh, also, yes, these pyramids, no, I don't, I'm not part of the Illuminati or anything like that. They're Oregon pyramids. So if you, if you don't know what Oregon pyramids are, I suggest you look them up. They're actually something that's actually very positive for the atmosphere. And uh, that's a story for another time. So I'm just going to leave it at that. But uh, guys, like I said, this is not me trying to say they're innocent. This is not me trying to defend potential terrorists. It's me telling people that if we don't at least have the legal procedures done and cops and media and government can just label anyone a terrorist, show no proof and execute them on the spot, with whatever story they want to use, we're in a lot of trouble. And I'll tell you something. From now on, since they're so quick to label people and everything a terrorist act, how about the next time this police brutality? How about we label it for what it is? Isn't that terrorism? When a bunch of cops are beating up an innocent person or a, a person they already have under control and they beat him? Isn't that terrorism? Why isn't anybody calling a spade a spade? So let's keep it real, people. A lot of people out there are happy that some person got killed and another person has been shot only because the government and the media said they were the bad guys. What if they're wrong? What if they're lying? Shouldn't they at least have a fair trial to find that out? And if you say no... Thank God help us where this country's going. I don't look forward to the day that any government official can just label anybody a bad guy, pull you out of your house, and just, you disappear. You'll regret that decision, I promise you. To everybody out there that's a free thinker, there's nothing wrong with questioning things, because I'll tell you something. I would love to be wrong about half the stuff I talk about, about all the stuff I talk about. It would make my life a hell of a lot easier. Because you'll see by some of the comments, I'm going to get a lot of hate. Because people just don't get it. Peace.